Severe drought conditions have led to shortages of maize, meat, vegetables and fruit. With demand outstripping supply, the cost of food has risen 11.3% since last year. South Africa has also become a net importer of maize for the first time since 2008. Almost half of what we uh, are able to produce in terms of uh, grain commodities, maize in particular. So we, we have to uh, look around to actually import um, those commodities. And as you're aware, maize particularly is a, a feed uh, in, in livestock as well. So therefore, uh, it also affects the, the, the livestock se sector in terms of feeding uh, cattle, uh, pigs and, 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 and poultry. The prices on all food categories are rising. Meat production has been the hardest hit. Razak Mia, who runs one of the largest halal butcheries in South Africa, says he's never seen food prices this high during his 30 years in business. We've seen increases of over 30% in, in the last year. And that has really impacted on the consumer. We found that the volume of, of purchase has become smaller. There is a, a massive constraint in, in the, the number of kilos that we, we're selling. And, uh, and we can see from the basket that the people are buying. That obviously a, a, a person was buying, a, say, five kilo meat per week or per month. Now it's cut down to three, three and a half kilos. Oil prices shot to a seven-month high this week, raising more fears for cash-strapped consumers. Rising oil prices and a weaker exchange rate will fuel inflation further in the coming months. We have seen a, a rebound in the oil prices. Uh, there's talk in the, in, in the, in the U.S. of, of, uh, of normalization, that is a tightening cycle uh, beginning. So definitely that will have an impact on the rent. Inflation, or, uh, on, especially on food, will remain uh, elevated. With unemployment at a record 26.7%, it's going to get tougher. The unions are now calling on the Reserve Bank to cut rates and help the poor. Our interest rate is too high. Uh, the, the, the mandate of the governor of the Reserve Bank, in our view, must be revisited. They can't, we can't be chasing just the, 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 the inflation target. The Reserve Bank expects food inflation at 12% by year end. Even though the Reserve Bank decided to halt its rate tightening cycle this week, it warned that it will have to act if the situation deteriorates. Governor Lesecha Khanyako said it was more important to prevent an inflation spiral in order to protect the poor. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Johannesburg.